Hi, it's Barb Kelly, clinical psychologist and child psychologist. Today, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about what it's like to have video conferencing for your therapy. So you might normally come and see me or another psychologist in their clinic normally, but because of uh, physical distancing, not social distancing, we just need to have some physical distancing at the moment, video conferencing might be a really useful option for you. The way to think about it is a bit like a home visit. It's like having your therapist come to your house and we can see your pets. We can see your calming kit. We can see where you eat and maybe where you have your worries. Um, it's a really exciting opportunity. So do think about maybe using your iPad or your phone or some kind of mobile way to get around and communicate with us. Some of the things that will happen is your mum or your family might get, your mum or dad might get some resources ready for us before our setting, before our appointment, and you might be doing some activities as if you're in the office, but you've got your resources on your end. We might do some moving at the beginning to get your lid on. So hopefully you know all about getting your lid on, which is getting your brain ready for learning. And we might do some things like, I'll show you some cards about how to get your body ready and we'll take turns doing those activities. And don't worry, it won't just be you doing all the moving, it'll be me as well. And I might do some moving as well. I might get you to roll the dice and play a game with me. And I've got to do some activity as well or do some breathing so it's a really active, fun time. Um, we might play some other games that we normally play in the office, but through the camera. So I've been telling you all for a while now that I'm a YouTuber and guess what? I have my own spinning wheel to prove it. <laughs> so we might spin the wheel just like you're here and I'll spin it for you. Or use a program online where you can click and spin the wheel. And I might ask you some questions like, oh, tell me a time you were in the blue zone or tell me a body symptom from the blue zone. And we'll still do all our fun learning. We might play a board game. This is my absolute favourite one. And I'll set it up for you. And we'll roll the dice and move around. Or maybe I'll ask you some questions from the game. And we'll count our points on these. See, I really am a YouTuber where I'll be like this. <laughs> and I might say, well, this unhelpful thought is this is terrible. You roll the six. So the question is, a coping thought for this thought would be, and then you'll get a point and we'll make sure we record the points and have fun doing it. We'll play all our usual games and have a lot of fun. Sometimes I might make mistakes or the technology might make some mistakes and we'll have to practice lots of helpful thoughts like it's okay, we're just learning or mistakes happen. And we'll all have a lot of fun and learn from it if we can have those helpful thoughts. I hope you have a good time and I hope I've answered some of your questions about using video conferencing and therapy.